Hey guys, I've spent the last four days and three nights on the first lake in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire with my good friend of 35 years, Joe right here. And what did we do this week, Joe? We played hard. We played hard. We played very hard. Can't wait to tell you guys all about it. After four hours of being on the road, we were ready to get on the water. And it was windy. Hey homies, what is going on? <laughs> Whoa! And thus, our adventure begins. Now, the fun thing about this trip was that we didn't know where we were going. We just knew we were going somewhere. We were gonna look around, look for what we could see, and make do with what we could find. That's the adventure of it and it is good fun. Someone's obviously been here before. We'll make this work. getting some pretty good rain this morning. It was pretty nice actually. It seems to have blown over, but it looks like it could still rain at any moment. So Joe's out there fishing like a trooper. I'm all geared up. Got my vest on, got my pole all rigged up. Time to go try and catch some fish. Back on the water. lake is special to me because this is where my grandfather would take me as a kid fishing. This is where it all started for me. This lake is about 175 feet in spots, real deep. There's some nice fish in here. I don't have a downrigger, so I'm obviously not getting that deep, but I'm still putting weight on and doing what I can to get it down there. We'll see what happens, happens. It would appear we have a storm blowing in. The weather just can't seem to make up its mind right now. It's pouring for about three minutes, and then it stops. Then it starts pouring for a few minutes, and then it stops. It's quite nice, actually. I like it. It's a lot better than the heat. I'll take that over 90 any day. Here comes the rain again. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty menacing over there. The rain sounds like a freight train when it's coming. Can you hear it? It's coming.
Yeah! It's about one o'clock right now, pouring. I've been out here for about three and a half hours. I'm going in. I'm gonna take a break, chill out of camp, come back out later this evening if it's not raining. Last night when we were camping here, it was very windy. It was a good stiff wind and it was just constant. And that was great because there were no bugs. Now today, the rain has stopped, the wind, there's none of it, and the bugs are really starting to chew on me. It was nice just sleeping open last night, but I don't want to get chewed up tonight. So the tent's going up, the tarp's coming down, everything's going to be great. There's going to be fire and steak and bacon and eggs, beer. Magnificent. The rain has passed. I've had a good nap, had a good lunch. Now I'm back on the water, back at it. Let's see what we can see. Water is smooth as glass. Just trolling with a worm right now. Till I get out a little bit deeper and I'll put a spinner on my other pole and drop it deep. It's really nice out this evening, very calm. It's about seven o'clock on day two right now. And we haven't seen one other person. No people, no boats. This lake has been ours for the last two days. What a time. Oh, so nice. This is so nice. This brings back good memories of trolling with my grandfather. I've got some pretty good weight on this line. And bit by bit, just keep opening my bale and dropping out more line, getting down there. I have no idea what I'm doing, so just out here having fun, guys. It's about 10 of 8 right now. Not even a nibble. So I'm heading back. Start a fire. Chillax. I've still got some lines in the water. So there's hope. It's starting to clear up. Tomorrow is supposed to be a very different day. Sunshine and swimming. Boobs.
Good morning, guys. It's a nice one out here on the lake, paddling around in the morning fog. The morning mist. Just enjoying myself. I might do some fishing. Awesome. Yep. The view is a lot different today than it was yesterday. I'm out here for one last attempt. I've seen a bunch of risers. I put on a fly, real lightweight, floating it on the water. We'll see what happens. It's too nice to not be fishing. Okay. 
Look at that. <laughs> Yum. Good morning, guys and gals. It's our last morning on the lake. Just trying to take it all in. It's real nice, nice and calm. We're going to be packing up, breaking down camp, and heading out here shortly. Yesterday was a good day. <laughs> we had a lot of fun yesterday. It was a good one. I'll remember that one for quite some time. No fish. Not one, fi not one bite. A whole trip. Not one bite. And not for lack of trying. What are you going to do? The ceremonial breaking down of camp. Bittersweet. So I was breaking down my tent and the poles broke. This is my big Agnes seed house too. This is the third time these poles have broke. Now I own a lot of tents and I've never had a tent that just kept breaking over and over and over again. And this is one of my more expensive tents, which makes this really annoying. Now, Big Agnes has always been really good about sending poles back, but I'm getting sick of these things breaking. I was just trying to take the tent down. Thing snapped right in half. Back on the water. Home stretch. Last paddle of the trip. Well, this was one awesome trip, guys. Joe and I, we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Good times. We had four fun-filled, adventurous days. It was awesome. Good times. As always, guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate the support. We'll get outside, do something cool. It's good in the woods.